What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story. Today, we are going to be doing some science. And as you can see, we are not in our normal world. There is no trees. It is flat until flat, more flat. It's just so flat all the way around. Uh, just ignore this. This is my this is my green screen. This is this is where I do posing. Where is it? Oh, oh, such a poser. Okay, so today we are going to be doing some science. Recently, uh, a YouTuber that I watched who has also helped me greatly with my YouTube channel is Papa Cheddar. And he recently put a video out about water stream conveyor belts and the like. And I didn't realize you could do that. Like, I'm, I'm from Minecraft. You can do that in Minecraft. And I just didn't think about doing it here. So I wanted to I wanted to do my own testing. I wanted to do my own science. So this whole this whole area is where we've, we've done some science. So we'll start over here. We'll look at this thing. We'll come over here. And then we'll we'll reveal what's behind this this gravel wall. We don't know what's there. So starting off, if you don't know what a water stream conveyor belt is, basically, you just well you just have water. Uh, let me let me get water. Water. This is also this is like a creative world, by the way. So I have access to all the blocks. It's just nice and flat. Don't dig too far down, I think. Yeah, don't dig too far down because there's not much too far down. Uh, but we can just grab water, place water. And it goes about, where's the source? Oh, come on. One, so the source is right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which is kind of interesting because there's one shorter than water flow in Minecraft. But... You can do that. And then, so right here, I have a water source here. Then you can just toss. Oh, oh, I bit, oh, well, that didn't work. Toss, toss something in there. And it should just slowly make its way this way. Now, the reason why I think Papa Cheddar made this is because normally you can get these chutes. These chutes are made out of like copper and stuff on hoppers. So uh, let's see. So yeah, you can make these shoots. I don't with smithing and stuff. Uh, where's go back, go back, go back. Hopper. What? What did I click? <laughs> Somehow I took two screenshots. Um, yeah. So you can make a hopper out of some copper plates and and whatnot. So it's kind of expensive. And to get a lot of this, it gets really expensive. Like, if you want to go super far with this, super expensive. But the way it works, you got, you got a little hopper. Apparently, you can put a chest on top, and it'll suck things out of the chest. And you can, like, put a hopper into a chest, and it puts in. I tried that. It doesn't seem to be working for me, so I don't know. I don't know what's up there. But same deal. You can just toss in a bunch of stuff. And you might be able to hear it go through the pipes, but then it, it, it spits it out. So you can make this go on forever and ever. But it's kind of slow, as you can see. I put a stack of 32 in there. It It's pretty slow. And almost uh, last one. So that, that took a while. Here, I just have Hopper in a chute to spit it into the water stream put it all in there this is much faster even like just this small spot it's pretty fast and if we can get down there we already have all 32 even even though I was just like toss it all at once it would all just come at once and there we go so, I was also testing with, uh, let's get ice, because in Minecraft, you can, you can 
do stuff on ice and it will travel Ooh, what happened oh yeah uh it can travel super far so i also have i like using bread <laughs> bread just kind of looks cool in my opinion so this side is glacier ice and that oh no 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 oh no oh okay yeah so well as you can see ice works it ooh. Spout it out that far. Uh, I wasn't doing that before. Okay, maybe it is. Yeah, so you could just do this. That's... That's interesting. Sometimes... Well, we'll get to why sometimes it doesn't go that far later. But, so this side's glacier ice. Glacier ice does not freeze. Lake ice... There are it Glacier ice stays frozen lake ice melts so just like right here it melts and what happened before it was it melts so don't use lake ice i think it's the same kind of properties like it'll still go as far but lake ice uh it melts and can you ice uh everything ice what what's happening i want Ice. Why? Why? Lace your ice. There we go. So, okay. So you can't craft it from, like, getting a bunch of lake ice, I guess. So, there's that. So that's the... Kind of just the basis of what I started to learn. So, you can use these chutes. They can go... And they can't go up. So you can't grab one of these chutes and then start doing it up and then over and dropping back down. They can only, they, they follow like uh, gravity, sort of. So you can kind of like put it over as far as you want, I think, uh, and then drop it down and put it over again, but you can't, it doesn't go up. And well, at the moment, water doesn't go up, but we might change that. And so moving on over here, so this is kind of what Papa Cheddar had done was he would throw in his stuff there and then you could make the water system go on longer than just the seven blocks. So you could put a piece of ice in between and then a sign and it would keep going as long as it doesn't get caught up by the sign. So that's what this ha what happened here. So we lost about 12 of that because it stopped at the sign. But... If you go, I'm just going to put it all here. Whoop. Oh, missed. Whoop. There we go. If you have something that kind of like aims in the center, it kind of helps. Instead of just chucking it in and going to the side. But what I noticed from this, because this is what Papa Chair did. He did water and then blue ice or glacier ice. And he was using dry grass. When I first started testing this, I was using packed dirt. And you're going to see what happens when I use that. It doesn't move as fast. And what happens here is it doesn't move to the next spot. And that was, I was going crazy. Like I was, I was testing this for several hours and I was like, why is my dirt not moving? It won't move like I, I'm following his video and it just won't move. And so I was like, OK, the only thing different is he's using dry grass, so I dry, dry grass and it worked. And so this is this is just like the full length water system. That is definitely going to get caught up on the sign. But even like the same thing, dirt won't go. Uh, let's just uh, fix the daytime. And also, I want it, I want everything still so it works. And so, the dry grass made it the whole way. And let's let's try this bread. Does the bread go? Pretty sure it does. Uh, some of it got caught on the signs there. See, yep, it made it. It had enough momentum to keep going. And so I was like, 
maybe maybe things have different weights uh this is i think this is the same thing as this just up i think that's what i did here i built all this like a week ago and i've been waiting to record um yeah so this is just let's just toss it all and see what happens so these things spit out one at a time like pew 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 so it's not like it's coming out in stacks. I could just like queue it all into a stack, but don't want to do that. But the one thing about this, it it puts it in the middle. It's not going to get caught by the signs if you use this. But as you can see, all the bread's making it, all the dry grass is making it. But the dirt is A, super slow, and B, not making it. Dun, dun, dun. So this led me to believe that... Uh, are we moving over here? Yeah, we're going to move... We're going to move over to this. This led me to believe that... Things had different weight. In Minecraft, you can... All the items have the same weight. You put them in a the system, they all go the same way. But here, I was noticing... They... That is not the case. So... We're going to... Get my trusty thing, trusty scale items of weight. And was this what we wanted? Yes. Uh, honestly, I had no idea what I had here for the rot, but it definitely rotted. I got some stones. I got some wood. I got some little stones. I got some meat. Some dry, dry, dry grass. Some bread some feathers and some more dirt and so what we're gonna do we're gonna go way up here way up here and we're gonna grab this put that there we're going to stand right here and hope this works bam 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 do so we got all those things right in there. And what we're going to do is, uh, let's see if I can get this right. Storm, we're going to slash weather, set W, storm. Uh, I think it's stormy. Clouds are moving a little faster. So what we're going to do is drop them. So if, uh, Actually, I guess I should say this first. So what this is, I'm going to need my dry grass back. Uh, and go back to still. Still for this. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so we got to do this first. thought we had to. Um, so this is just all the directions. So we got north, that way's north, that way's east, uh, south, and then west is like that channel. And what we're gonna do, come in here, spit out all of these, and then flop down here, and, oh, break it. And see, that one got a little delayed, but see what, happens here so they all made it to the first ice thing but at the same time yeah so they're all they're all making it roughly the same time just kind of depended on when i broke the block so we're just gonna pick those up see this is this is where we're doing some science this is where we learn things because sometimes it wasn't happening like that and i was trying to figure out why and then i realized that the weather can affect these things so let's split those up again uh get our get our block back Whoa. stand up here toss them down and we are going to Set it back to Stormy. 
It's hard to tell. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then we're going to pay attention to the Eastern track more. Do, do, do. All right, so Eastern one just made it to the ice. These two just made it to the ice and that one just made it to the ice. So the East, <laughs> I'm tapping my screen trying to point, but yeah, so they're over there already. And then these sides just made it. And now the south just made it. But you notice, wait, is this south? No, this is west. West left half of its, it's get down left over half of its dry grass did not make it. So if you notice, weather only moves kind of one direction in this game. Wind will always blow east. And so north and south stuff doesn't get as affected as you saw, like everything still made it to the end. Uh, but the west, westerly direction, not everything made it because the wind is pushing against it. So if you, when you're setting up your systems, you need to, you, you want to keep that in mind, like what way they're pointing. If you're just doing this kind of thing. Uh, so now we're going to go up into our tower with the wind still going and see how wind affects the items with different weights. So like how the dirt didn't move as far as everything else, like the dry grass and the bread. So we're going to see how wind, how affected by the wind it gets. Also, I noticed this when I was in here, you can reach for forever and <laughs> you can't do that in Minecraft. And it was throwing me off. I'm like, what's all these random holes doing? It's like when I click <laughs> stuff, stuff gets broken way over there. And I've been practicing my, my placement of stuff but let's get back to this so i'm going to break this block and we're going to see what happens Woo! and fall so as you can see the farther like the drop is the more stuff is going to move whether it's super heavy or super light so let's see what we have in this first pile here we have the andesite stone bricks the andesite stone Pack dirt and lead. And then we have meat and wood. Then over here we have uh, the dry grass and we picked up a bit of bread. And now the rice bread. And then way over here is the feathers. So the feathers went like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. 21 blocks. So this this is where everything should have landed if there was no wind, which we can also test again. If we fly way back up here, pull out a block. And then we drop everything back down. And we'll just throw that. Ah, no. <laughs> so. Feathers are super light. See, it's kind of like they don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, let's get still and then we can fix those feathers. Wow. Come on. Go. Yeah, so feathers are super light. Let's see this. So even then, there's a little bit of spread. Like, one, how many? Four feathers went four blocks away even with no wind even though it does kind of look like there's a bit of wind Did they even do the thing all right maybe the wind picked up a little bit as we were doing that but picking up all the stuff checking it back in here but as you can see from science we have learned that stuff moves in the wind and that's gonna Oh, that's going to bug me. And let's head back to get our... Actually, we just need the bread now. Actually. Uh, and dirt. Dirt. 
Um, no, need all that. Okay. So we finished off over here with kind of this. Now this is different. This is removing, like, if you don't have ice, this is what you can do. If you're going like, I guess it doesn't have to be super long, but this is kind of like starting up here and then it's sloping down with the water. So this is only one water source that keeps cascading over and over again. And then like this will be your collection spot. So we can do this Whoa. and see what happens. So it just keeps cascading over the beautiful waterfalls and goes into the hopper, hopefully. Yep, and is getting spat out down there. So that was bread. Let's try pack dirt, see if that works. So as you can see, it's definitely way slower, but it is, it's making it very slowly. Very slowly. Still going. And it's getting kind of dark again. I gotta figure out how to set time to stay like that. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, there's one. There's two. So, this does work. Yeah, and you notice we are going west. So this is, this is still, this is the slowest way. So this would work. Dirt was in amongst the category of the heaviest blocks, and this would work because it's continuous. Now, uh, this one, this one's longer. This is going the full seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so this is going the full seven blocks. So let's see what happens here. And this one is the same as before. It's just with ice. I was trying to see if ice on the water would Oh, why oh, is it getting windy again? I think it is. Uh, but the ice under the water doesn't really change it. So this is the whole seven blocks. So if you if you gotta go farther than just like three blocks at a time, it does look like the dirt is making it. Uh, the only problem is sometimes it doesn't go into the hopper for the dirt. You, most other things does that and come on dirt it's like watching dirt swim it's so entertaining oh oh here we go dirt number one is in the lead he's going he's going and final dirt has made it down to the final stretch of the race Let's see, will it go into the hopper? Yes, yes it does. Yes it does. Do's? Yes it does. Wow, the wind is not cooperating. And we got it all. Uh, yeah, so that was the ice path. That doesn't really, the ice underneath the water doesn't change anything I've noticed. I did in my testing kind of like test this one and this one and they both were at the same speed. But now we are going to see what the fastest item transportation device in the West is. And so far we have it this up against the just basic hopper shoot system. So what this is, this has no water as you can see, but it's just the, this is where the items will go and then I'll break these blocks goes in the hopper shoots it onto some ice actually yeah so this is kind of like uh the f one of the first systems over here just just using the ice uh this isn't the most inexpensive way why am I leaking over here that shouldn't be I might have put a thing ice there I have no idea why am I leaking? We'll get to this soon, but that was... That was interesting. Yeah, that shouldn't have been leaking. Okay, back to this. So we got a shoot, 
onto some ice, spitting it on. It goes into a nurse chute, spits it on the ice, nurse chute, spits it on the ice again, nurse chute, and to the finish line. So what we're going to do, get another stack of bread. Stack of bread. Can I eat? Oh, I can. Oh, interesting. Even in creative, I can eat. Oh, missed. Okay, and let's make the weather still for this. It doesn't need to be. Um, this... Come on. Everything go. There we go. Wah! The weather doesn't need to be still for this system as long... Actually, we'll test that after with the dirt. But we're going to see what's faster. The chute or this super speedy, icy, coppery contraption. Uh, we're going to go this way because I don't want to break that. In three, two, one. Wah! Release the bread. So this one is definitely... Oh. So in my testing... Uh, they both get the first bread about the same time. But this one, I got all 32. And so far, I got 10 over here. So they both, if you're just transferring one item, neither one is really faster than the other. But if you're transporting more than that, definitely this one. I don't, I don't know why the shoots are so slow. But it's, and it's like, well, one at a time, one here, one there. And sometimes it's like, oh, here's 10. And then it's going to wait like a minute. And then here's three more. And then one over here and one over there. It's inconsistent speeds and just not, not great. Uh, so this is why this one is definitely my favorite. Also looks pretty cool because it like spits it out. Pew, pew slides on the ice and then it also yeah it's just fun it's not the cheapest the cheapest would definitely be like just this whole water stream going down thing and the reason why i have this sign here is if you have the water going onto the hopper just like that it doesn't sometimes the items will float above the hopper and not get caught in so that's why i have that uh so yeah and is this done yet yeah, finally done. Good job, item shoot. So that is... Uh, what do I have here? Oh, yeah, more science. Uh, let's break that. Uh, so that's... That's the basic item systems. If you're just going in a straight line. And if you're doing just like... Just a, like a road. Just going, going and going. But if you want to make something fancier i found this out so signs will hold up water and they hold up some items but they'll fall about yeah they fall through the last one the last one's not thick enough for them to float above and there's a road so i found that kind of interesting it's like you could have items shooting over top of you if you wanted. You could just walk through or walk underneath them. Oh, I'm still flying, that's why. Uh, but now we're going to get to the water park section of this this sciencey video. So here, I don't I don't know if that this ended up working. Uh, but it's just like it's showing how you can do turns and drops. So we're going to stick some bread into here. It's going to spit it out. It turns. So you can do like the water sources here and it will hit the air and then turn. But what's happening here is I think this is why. Um, hold up. Give me those. Uh, can I can I get that done again, please? Re Redo. Is it going to drop? No. So, yeah, this one wasn't working, sadly. Uh, did this work for... No, please. There we go. Stop leaking everywhere. 
Did this work for dirt? Yeah, so dirt. Okay, never mind. <laughs> come back here, dirt. Come, come, come here. Okay. Yeah, so this design did not work out, sadly. Uh, this, ooh, this doesn't really involve this. I was testing stuff with different animals and things and drifters and cows and or sheep and chickens and traders. Uh, don't worry, Shem, Shem didn't go in there. It was his, it was his cousin. But this one, this one should work. So as you can see, I have the trap doors here instead of signs, because sometimes things will still get caught on the signs. Uh, but learning from this whole thing here, stuff, actually, <laughs> let me do this before I say it, just in case it doesn't work again. Okay. Um, scratch that. <laughs> scratch that little tutorial. Um, but what I was noticing is there needs to be open air, kind of like where it's falling, like in front of where it's falling. And the trap door is to kind of stop the water from continuing, because I could do this like the full seven block thing, but I just wanted a nice... Nice little water slide for, for my bread here. My spelt bread. So we're going to stick it in there. It's going to shoot it through. Fall down. And then go to the next section. And fall down. And go to the next section. And fall down. Sadly enough, this, this wouldn't really work for a person. Because it's... People just move super slow in water. Even on the ice. It's not actually ice here, but there is ice here in this, like, right in front of the signs, because sometimes a piece of bread or something will get caught just, like, on the end, and it needs a little bit of slipperiness to to keep going into the next water stream. So sometimes it's... Things are very inconsistent in Vintage Story, I found. Um, but yeah, that's why... Um, you start off with, like, uh, things like this, just shooting everything into the middle of your stream. Now, when it gets to the next side, actually, let's, let's see what happens. So it kill, still kind of drops things into the middle. It doesn't get shoved over to the sides, no matter what turn it is. Let's see. Can I... Oh, oh, we missed. Um, let's go. So maybe this is what. Let's do it up here. To. So bread, in. What? It is still going. Oh, but here it is. This is what happens. Sometimes it would get stuck for some reason because it's not hitting into the water. Maybe if I didn't have a block there, that would stop it. I did a lot of testing, and sometimes things work, sometimes they don't. But like, even now, it's still getting caught. It's clipping onto a block or something. So that's why I have this. This was the best way I found to be able to do this. And then, you see, there, things didn't even fall. So, let's grab my bread back. Two and more breads. Here's my bread. And now, that w this was fun. This, go to a water park and you say, wee! But over here, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oh. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Uh, so, this... This is where things go up. So, as I said before, shoots do not take things up. No matter how long you wait. Hello! It's not going to go up. Not going to go up. You can spit it out, and now it will come out. 
but it will not go up. And then you stand here and wait. There we go. So, I was wondering, do items kind of float? And they do. So in Minecraft, you can kind of do this, and you can uh, like make uh, bubble columns to shoot the items up faster. But if not, you can just kind of... First off, make it daytime again. And then throw your items in. And up they go. This is just all these blocks are water source blocks. And then they go this way and into the flow. And then drop. Ah, so here is where it was. So it's not dropping on this block. It's not really dropping on this block either. It's dropping in the middle. So that's why this one had the sign there. So let's, let's show that again. Uh, just toss over. See, it gets, it gets stuck. It gets stuck right at the end. So that's why you gotta have the sign and an open air block. Because if you just had the sign and a glass there, it will still get stuck. So that's, that's the whole thing from earlier with that thing and that one. That's the science you gotta learn. So this is how you think get things going up. If you want, like, if you're at the bottom of the world or something, I don't know why you would be, but if you got items you gotta send to the surface, this is how you do it. Uh, so far, it's the only way I've figured out how items kind of move. It's either this way or with water or ice. I haven't figured any other ways out. This, I was like, ooh, I wonder if beds are bouncy in this game. <gasps> and they are. And so I want to see what items do. Do items bounce? Boing, boing, boing. They bounce a little. Not as much as I had hoped. But they do bounce a little. If we go up super high. They, yeah, they bounce. They did like a big kind of, maybe like a block high bounce and then flopped. Oh, and now over to here. Woo. Doing, doing, doing. This can be like a fun kind of transport system. But as you can see, they're, they're not all going, which was sad. This is very sad. Also part of the inconsistencies. But then I want to see if I can do this. And this, I'm going to make sure the weather is still. Wee! Ta-da! Wasn't that fun? Why are these not stacking? Here we go. Stack. Now, let's put all the knowledge. Well, maybe not. We don't really use any of that knowledge. Mostly just knowledge from over this side. Let's put all that together. And reveal what's behind the curtain. Uh, is it working? I don't even know if it's working. Let's reveal. Ta-da! I don't need this here. Let the smoke settle. Oh, give me those shoots. And keep settling. And ta-da! Oh, this. Ooh, the blocks do stay. Oh, I don't want those. Um, this is a cool contraption. It kind of looks like just something you'd put on your desk at work that would like just like those calming, like relaxing things to look at. But what this is? Actually, let's see. We can use this. Pick a ball. All this. Actually, no, I don't want to use this. I like using red. Are we full? Oh, I think we're full. Whoop. Oh, we can still kind of pick it up, but delete it. So, what this is, it's kind of like what we just, the thing that was just here that I broke. Back and forth, and then it picks it up, goes up the water stream, and kind of just, it's a continual system. So what we're going to do, I'm going to chuck a bunch in there. 
let that kind of start the system. Take a little break, check some more, and watch the magic happen. It takes a bit. I think it's like two and a half stacks, makes it like super perpetual. Oh, here we go. Ta-da! It's so fancy. Like, look at that. I thought it was just, like, super fun that you could make this. And he's like, pew, pew. And then this, the reason why I have all of them here instead of, like, just wherever that would drop is sometimes they, like, that one, it, that, sometimes they miss. They don't, they still go straight. Like, they still go in line with this. They don't, you don't have to put glass or anything on the outside. Uh, is this one good? Yeah. Sometimes they get backed up, some of the hoppers. But yeah, I, I thought this was super cool. Then goes up. Up. And then up here, we just have, oh, open it up. Just glass water stream thing with the, the sign and then an open block. So then they drop into there. There's a little bit of momentum still. They don't just drop straight. And then bloop, bloop, bloop. And into that one. And so I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, let's, let's show us around. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a ton of fun making this video and just kind of learning more about, uh, like, different item transfer systems and how like bread is heavier than dirt and feathers will just fly away on their own. But let me know if you guys like this and if you want to see more kind of sciencey episodes like this, I got my whole my scientific outfit on here. <laughs> I think it's the the clockmakers uh not skin but like class that I chose. Kind of cool. Got like sticks in my hair and stuff. But I hope I really want to get back to our normal world. Uh, I'm missing. I'm missing vintage story a lot. Uh, yay. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this. If you want to see more, maybe we can figure out a name for this world. And it's just this is Dredge's tinkering world where he tinkers and does science. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time.